when we're looking at negative solutions. Why? Yeah, because when you're looking at, in this particular instance, the domain 90 minus x has to be positive. Or what you have is that minus x must be greater than minus 90 or x is less than 90. So it picks up the negative numbers. As long as x is less than 90, negative numbers can be an answer. It's, it's the domain. The domain determines it. That's why if you have the domain at the onset, then you don't have an issue of just say, I'm just going to throw out the negative numbers. But it's the domain. The domain in these guys is as long as x is 90, I'm fine. So negative 10 makes perfect sense. Why? Because it's less than 90. In other words, this little graph is flipped around the y-axis. So instead of being like this, He's like this. Well, actually, he's probably more like, I'm going to put a red pin in here. He's more like this. He's flipped around the y-axis. Why? Because there's a negative on that x. Remember transformations, if you multiply x by negative 1, that's the flip around the y-axis. That's why. So in other words, you can't trust them. But I think we're okay. I think we hit almost the worst of it. That's the good news. Well, I take that back. So here we go. Now notice there's no logarithm on this side. <coughs> But I need to first, using the properties of logs, bring the 2 up so that log base 3 of x plus 4 squared minus log base 3 of 9 equals 2. This turns into a quotient. Log base 3 of x plus 4. 4 squared divided by 9 equals 2. Hmm, that's interesting. Now, what do I need to do? This is the where if you can't, if you don't do this, you're in trouble. Don't know how to do this. I need to rewrite as an exponential. So that x plus 4 squared divided by 9 equals 3 squared. x plus 4 squared equals 9. And now what? Square root both sides. Don't forget the plus or minus. <laughs> I'm not sure what it takes to get that out of the system where you forget the plus or minus. Who what? what? Would that be 81? Oh, it should be 81. Yeah, I jumped the gun. I jumped the gun. So this should be 81. Yeah, thank you. I jumped ahead. And which is something, by the way, you shouldn't do. I was focused too much on um, what we're going to do next than what we're doing now. Thank you. So that x plus 4 is plus or minus 9, so that x equals minus 4 plus or minus 9, 
x equals minus 4 plus 9, which is 5 x equals minus 4 minus 9, which is negative 13. Who needn't apply for the job? Negative 13. And it's not because he's negative, but because if I come back to the original problem, negative 13 plus 4 is a negative number. So that's why he doesn't apply. So my answer is x equal 5. So here's a product. Product turns into a sum. Log of 2x times x minus 3 equals 1. What's the base on this log? 10. Put it in because you're going to need to rewrite this as 2x times x minus 3 equals 10 to the 1 power. Two x squared minus six x minus ten equals zero. I can either leave it this way or basically most of the time what by what you do by the way is you just divide or factor out a common factor of two either way. The further along you go, the more you just divide it out, because you've got an equal zero here. So x squared minus 3x minus 5 equals 0. And what do I notice? It does a factor. Does a factor. Five is five and one. How do you get a three from a five and a one? You don't, right? So it doesn't factor, so what am I going to have to use? That quadratic formula. Using the quadratic formula. On x squared minus 3x minus 5 equals 0. We know that x is minus b, minus a minus 3, plus or minus the square root of b minus 3 squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a, which is another reason why I got rid of the 2. My numbers are smaller. So that x is 3 plus or minus the square root of 29 all over 2. Got two answers. x is 3 plus the square root of 29 over 2. x is 3 minus the square root of 29 over 2. What makes life very nice for me is that this is a 2 times x. So any x value I put in here has to be what? Positive. Positive. Here, this is an x minus 3. This says x must be greater than 3. This one says x must be greater than 0. <coughs> In order to make everybody happy, x must be greater than 3. Well, if I have a positive, 29 is approximately, if I wanted to get close to 29, uh, the square root of 29, what would it be? I know for sure it's 
close to what square? What square is 29 close to? Tw five, right? So 25, five. So I would say five, three plus five divided by two. Is that a positive number? <laughs> yeah. If I say three minus five, it's going to be negative. So I can't have a negative number in this instance. So basically that's what my answer ends up being. And certainly eight plus two or three plus, three plus five is eight, eight divided by two is four, four is bigger than three. So I would be okay. You just get kind of seat of the pants. Because you know that the square root of 29 is five point something. Maybe like a 5.5. I can see how excited you guys are about this material. Oh, get used to it. Uh, it's only just begun. It's fun stuff. Well, if I look at this, this is x is greater than negative 1. This one says x is greater than 0. Greater than 0 wins the, the day. Natural log, this is a division, natural log of x plus 1 over x equals 2. Natural log is what base? E. If in doubt, use your cheat sheet called your calculator. Above natural log, ln, you'll see E. That tells you that natural log is base E. Above L-O-G, you see 10. That says that log is base 10. So L-N is base E. So this is the same as L-O-G, base E of X plus 1 over X equals 2. And now we get to rewrite this, since there's no second log involved so that x plus 1 divided by x is e squared this is where the fun begins again either cross multiply or multiply both sides by x x plus 1 equals x e squared e squared is just a number E squared is just a number. If you wanted to substitute in a decimal in this class, you can go ahead and do that. E squared. Uh, you could put in 7.4, 7.39. Uh, it's just a number. Now I need to solve for x. So anything that has an x on one side, anything that doesn't on the other. So 1 equals x e squared minus x. Now what do I get to do? I'm going to solve for x. What do I have to do? Factor out an x. Greatest common factor of x. Remember, e squared minus 1 is just a number. It's 7.4 minus 1. So that x is going to be 1 over e squared minus 1. Is that a positive number? Is 1 positive? Yes. Is 7.4 positive? Is 7 point minus 7.4 7 minus 1 positive? Positive divided by a positive is a? So this guy's positive. And that's the requirement for your answer. Uh, I did an approximation on this, and this was 0.1565 to four decimal places.